Following breaking news this morning, three people are dead after an overnight house fire on Huntington Avenue in Buffalo. This is just a few blocks from Shoshone Park. News Force Abby Fridman has been there all morning. She is live for us. Abby, what have you learned? Chris and Kelsey, good morning. We just spoke with Fire Commissioner William Ronaldo. We've learned three people have died in this fire on Huntington Avenue a father and two daughters. And Fire Commissioner Ronaldo says the house is a total loss. You can take a look at some of the damage you can probably see right now. They're still blasting the side of the house with water, and the entire back side of it is completely charred. Uh, we have learned that the call came in around 3.30 of reports of people trapped inside the attic and on the second floor. Ronaldo says two people were on the second floor. One person was recovered from the attic. He also told us that made the situation incredibly difficult. You can hear from him right now. Uh, first arrived, uh, the report of uh, people trapped in the attic, second floor of the attic. Uh, three people were, three victims were. Uh, taken out of the, the mother survived. She's at the ECMC. The father and uh, two daughters perished in the fire. It's very difficult anytime uh, you know anyone perishes in a fire. It's very difficult. Uh, physically, mentally, uh, it was physically demanding as well because the victims had to be removed, uh, as I said, from the attic and the second floor. So that part wasn't easy. So the crews uh, did an amazing job. Ronaldo also says another daughter is visiting from out of town but was not inside the house at the time that they received the call. He uh, says everybody has been accounted for at this time. Right now we're still working to learn exactly what caused the fire and how much money uh, and in damages has been done. We got the chance to speak with neighbors who woke up around 3.30 to the flames. They say uh, some siding appears to have been damaged on their property. Of course, we'll continue to keep you updated on air and online all throughout the morning as we continue to learn more about this horrific tragedy. For now, reporting live in Buffalo, Abby Perkman, News 4.